Okay. Hello everyone, as most of you already know, my name is Marissa Lee and I'm running for your 2016-2017 Vice President. A lot of people don't know the duties of Vice President, including me at first, but I'm here to explain to you what being Vice President entails and why I would be most fit for the job. To start off, I have a Russian nesting doll to illustrate what I would be doing as Vice President. Okay, starting from the outermost layer, the broadest but most important job is being a cabinet member. As a third year in PAC, um, I have seen so much that PAC has to offer internally and externally. I have been an active member since fall 2013, and I have been on cabinet for two years after that. Being a cabinet member has always been one of my top priorities. Even when I was just a PAC modern liaison, I made sure to always ask other cab members if they needed help because I knew that my job wasn't the busiest. With that being said, I think that cab support and being a cabinet member will still remain one of my biggest priorities if elected. Okay, now moving on to the next layer. Another job of mine is presiding at the organizational meetings and cabinet meetings in absence of the president and also um, doing any tasks assigned to me by the president. In other words, I'll be working very closely with the president of this club. Um, knowing that the other candidate is Rachel Shin, I have full confidence that we will work very well together. Um, I've known her since freshman year and have gotten the chance to discuss various topics with her. And every time we talk, our tone is always very understanding. Um, with this being said, assuming, oh sorry, arguing about things has never been a big issue for me. I would rather figure things out quickly and efficiently instead of arguing about it for a very long time. I know that we would keep things very professional and never let it get personal, which I think is a good trait that we both have. The next layer, which gets closer to the core of this position, <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry, okay, um, is being responsible for confirming all venues and meetings and events. Um, I have previously worked with our SLD advisor, Anna, and I feel like this is very beneficial because I already have her contact info and she has mine as well. So I feel like it'll be very easy to contact her in case of any problems that we have with um, the space that we book. Okay, moving on to the next layer. Um, another duty of the Vice President is being in charge of the Filipino Christmas Festival. Um, this is one of PAC's biggest events for the fall semester and it requires a lot of planning. I have a bunch of experience with planning events, especially for PAC. As membership chair, I planned AKA Revealing, which had attendance of over 200 people, so I'm very familiar with planning for a large amount of people. I also was a part of the PCF committee this year, so I know how the process for it goes. And lastly, I know we work very closely with the campus for the event, and I'm pretty familiar with their active body, so I feel like that is a big plus. Overall, I know that planning for PCF will not be an easy task, but I'm up for the challenge, and hopefully with my experience, it will run smoothly. And last, but not least, <laughs> uh, my last layer of being Vice President is being the Sergeant of Arms. Look, it's so cute. Okay. <laughs> with this, I will have to make sure that all Cabinet members are fulfilling their duties and keep up with their events and planning. If a Cabinet member has an issue, they would be talking to me about it, and I feel as if I'm very easy to talk to. I'm very understanding, but also realistic and straightforward when I have to be. Since I know most of the candidates running for next year's cabinet personally, I feel like I will already have their respect. Hopefully, they will have no problem coming to me with their problems because of this. I believe that I'm very good at drawing the line between friends and business, and I feel like this is a problem that cabinet um, continually faces. Hopefully, with the given respect, they will be understanding of my decisions and don't take it personally. Now, I will be talking about my goals as vice president. One of my biggest goals is to strengthen PAC internally. I feel as if the success of the club always starts with the cabinet. I want to make sure that all cabinet members are friends, first and foremost, but can also work well with each other. I want to diminish cliques within cabinet, so there should never be talking behind one another's back, and instead, we can figure out the problem as a whole, and it'll strengthen our bond as well. Once this is accomplished, I want to make sure that cabinet doesn't seem like a big clique to our general members. We want to be great friends, but when it comes to it, mesh well with the general members so we seem welcoming and inviting. As Vice President, I want to focus on the big picture. I want to make sure PAC remains what it is known for. One unit, one club, and one family. Since we never require member fees and don't discriminate on who can join, I feel as if we are one of the strongest and biggest clubs on campus. What we started in 1972 will remain until the end of time, and that is thanks to you guys. Thank You're you. Welcome.